travelers back today with another video about sandals specifically sandals royal bahamian mm -hmm. which is reopening as of today january 27th yes and we can't wait to share everything that we know about this new property from the new swim up suites to the reimagined private island at the resort let's get into all the details so before we dive in, I just wanted to mention I am a Sandals travel agent, and if you want to go check out the all-new reimagined Sandals Royal Bahamian, I can help you do that. My contact information is in the video description below, and it won't cost you anything extra to work with me. But let's get to why you are here. <laughs> Sandals Royal Bahamian. So in case you can't gather it from the name, Sandals Royal Bahamian is in the Bahamas, mm -hmm. uh, specifically Nassau, and uh, it's one of two. Sandals properties there? Mm -hmm. Yep, Sandals Emerald Bay. Um, it's not, they're not close enough. They're <laughs> completely separate islands of the Bahamas, um, but there are two in the Bahamas, yes. This has been a multi-year, multi-million dollar renovation for this resort, and you can definitely tell. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about that they did is upgrade over 200 rooms and suites which is fantastic. You're really gonna tell that it's an updated bathroom, an updated room. In the East and the Bay Wings, which they are being called now, it was formerly the Windsor Tower and the Balmoral Tower. They got all new swim up suites, which look incredible. Nice. And actually one of them are swim up suites that are beachfront. Like it doesn't get any better <laughs> than that. That room, in case you were interested, is the East Bay Beachfront Swim Up Butler Suite with Patio Tranquility Soaking Tub. In addition, the new Island Village at the resort um, are rooms that come with private pools and butler style villas, and they're each named after a different island in the Bahamas. Bahamas. So those is like a whole new renovated section. It, it just, it looks stunning. Those rooms in the new island village are what is great if you are a couple who loves luxury and is looking for some privacy during your resort stay. So a completely new area for Sandals Royal Bahamian is called Coconut Grove. Mm -hmm. It's a entertainment area and a place to relax. So you basically relax during the day and party at night. A cool thing about it is it has three food trucks, which mm -hmm. is an awesome thing that Sandals yeah. is adding. The three food trucks are Sweets and Things, which is grab and go sweets and coffee. Coco Queen, which is local Bahamian inspired tacos and seafood. And the Bahama Mamma Mia, which is Italian offerings. So pretty cool. Yeah, so relax, grab some food, live entertainment at night. Looks like an awesome space. Up next, we have the reimagined Barefoot Key, which is the private island off of the resort. Um, this private island has been a fan favorite for a while. It's a big draw for Sandals Royal Bahamian, but it has been completely renovated. So this private island is just a couple minutes away from the main resort, and they have what's called a love runner, which is a little <laughs> boat that goes back and forth. They go pretty often on a rotating schedule, so you can look that up when you're at the resort to know what times they head out and come back. So it's quick to get over there. And then once you are there, they have two beautiful white sand beaches. They have a pool with a swim up bar. They have a hot tub. They have a shower so that you can, you know, after you play in the sun and yeah. go into the ocean, you can shower, get ready. They have a restaurant there. Pretty much anything you need. Yes, uh, the Aurelia house is there. Um, which is basically a seafood restaurant, so you can have lunch and dinner there on the private island. And they also have a red lane spa experience, so if you want like a private couples massage on the beach kind of thing. I mean, basically anything you could want is over at this private island. That's cool. It's awesome. They also have private cabanas for rental. They have um, a nice fire pit area for nighttime, so really they did a great job renovating the private island and it's it looks great. Also part of Sandals Royal Bahamian and any Sandals for that matter is great food options. Mm -hmm. Sandals Royal Bahamian has 13 dining options in total, three of which are the food trucks we just mentioned at Coconut Grove and 10 are restaurants, some of them being new. So for the restaurants on property, we have La Plume, which is French cuisine, Butch's Island Chop House for steaks and fish, Tesoro, 
which is Italian cuisine, canoe, which has cuisine celebrating the Caribbean region, kimonos, which is a hibachi restaurant and beloved by many Sandals guests, Aurelia House, which is the restaurant on Barefoot Key. It is an offshore grill serving seafood and Caribbean cuisine. We have Calico Cafe, which serves salad, sandwiches, and a nacho bar. The Queen's Pearl, which is a traditional British pub. Gordon's Pier Restaurant, seafood, of course. And Soy Sushi Bar, serving delicious sushi. Another Sandals favorite. Also new for Sandals Royal Bahamian is the Breakaway Program, which is basically uh, an offering for guests who uh, to use the resort and its amenities prior to their room being ready. So you're able to check in, have an access to a lounge, and change to use the pool and everything before you could actually get into your room. So in addition to renovating the resort at Sandals Royal Bahamian, they also renovated their wedding options for guests as well. And they just actually on a Sandals Travel Agent seminar I attended recently, they mentioned three new wedding offerings for the resort. The first being you could have a barefoot key wedding where shoes are optional. <laughs> so utilizing the private island as a wedding space, which That's is cool. a great idea. Then they also have the conch pearl wedding, which is basically, it, it utilizes a lot of the conch shell, which is um, the national food of the Bahamas. So I believe in the photo they used, like they had the chairs kind of circled like a shell mm. and like they blow, blew the shell um, after the ceremony. It, it was a very unique Bahamian tradition. The third option was a Bahamian wedding which basically was, um, took place in a lush tropical garden. They had a special choir and it was more about celebrating the Bahamian traditions. That's cool. So three awesome options. I'm especially excited about that barefoot wedding at the <laughs> private island. That sounds super fun. We are still waiting on additional details for those three new wedding options, but if you were interested in a wedding at Sandals Royal Bahamian, again, my contact information is listed down below. This is super exciting for Sandals for them to be renovating Royal Bahamian. We can't wait to see you know, photos and videos coming out of the resort. If you were interested in everything that's included in a Sandals vacation, check out our video of a similar <laughs> title. What's included. <laughs> um, where we go over everything that you need to know um, about what's included and what's not included for your Sandals vacation. So we'll link that here. If you have any questions about Sandals Royal Bahamian, please leave us a comment. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media at A Couple Travelers. And until next time, keep traveling.